In a previous video, we covered what rifling is and how it works. Now we're going to go deeper and find out how to find the best twist. For starters, we need some references of barrel twist rates and how they are represented. Let's take a look at the US Army's M16A2 for example. The barrel of a standard M16 should be marked with something like this. The important part is the 1 over 7. This is the barrel's twist rate. 1 in 7 simply means that the rifling makes one full revolution in 7 inches of the barrel's length. Common AR-15 barrels also come in 1 in 8, 1 in 9, 1 in 10, and 1 in 12. The lower the number, the more aggressive the spin. So what is the best twist rate? Well, that depends entirely on the ammunition. There are four factors to consider when choosing the best twist rate. The velocity of the projectile, the mass of the projectile, the diameter of the projectile, and the length of the projectile. These are the four main variables used in mathematical equations to determine barrel twist. The Greenhill formula is the standard rule of thumb equation for calculating theoretical optimal barrel twist. The formula for twist is equal to a constant, 150 for muzzle velocities under 2800 FPS and 180 for above, times the bullet's diameter squared over the bullet's length, then multiplied by the square root of the bullet's specific gravity over 10.9. The specific gravity is based on the bullet's material. For example, lead core bullets will have a specific gravity value of 10.9, which would cancel out the second half of the equation. Some people denounced the Greenhill formula for its disregard of bullet shape or weight, and preferred the newer Miller twist rule. However, the Greenhill formula is still used by many today. Let's find out why. Take an average AR-15 223 Remington bullet for example. The muzzle velocity for a standard AR-15 is around 3000 FPS, so we'll use 180 for the muzzle velocity constant. The diameter of the bullet is 0.224 inches, squared. The length of the bullet is 0.905 inches, and just to keep things simple, let's use lead core so the right side of the equation cancels out. When we plug everything into the calculator, we get 9.97. So the optimal twist rate for our average 223 bullet rounds up to 1 in 10, which, recalling from earlier in the video, 1 in 10 is one of the standard barrel twist rate for an AR-15. Of course, these are all approximations. And empirically speaking, the slower the twist rate, the more accurately the bullet flies. In other words, overspinning a bullet will not provide any greater accuracy. So in the end, there is no one best twist rate. It varies from bullet to bullet and barrel to barrel. Math and statistics can get you pretty far, but the only way to find the best match between bullet and twist rate is to just keep shooting and keep experimenting. Thanks for watching.